body into the hands. Welcome to the first, the last, and I'm going to dedicate this to the South American girl, the Beatles. We've got the biggest, craziest collection of songs written and performed by John, Paul, George, and Ringo, otherwise known as the Beatles. We guarantee you want to swoon and croon right along with us as we, as we celebrate the history of rock and roll and how this bad boy changed the history of music forever. Go ahead, because no matter what your parents told you, one thing is true. Ladies and gentlemen, rock and roll is here to stay and so are the Beatles. Ladies and gentlemen, we now present the music of the Beatles.
George Harrison. In the U.S., it was the first top ten song to feature George Harrison as the lead singer. It reached number two on the Billboard charts in 1964. Do You Want to Know a Secret was written by John Lennon, the credit to Lennon and Cotney. Lennon gave You Want to Know a Secret to George Harrison because he only had three notes and he said he wasn't the best singer in the world. Later, John took back that statement and said that Harrison's voice had improved since then. Please listen to Do You Want to Know a Secret?
When Paul McCartney first showed yesterday, he said he only had the music. He didn't have a name for the song yet, so he called it Scrambled Eggs. And finally, the song was titled Yesterday, and the rest is history. Please listen to this classic and of the songs by the Beatles.
Mary, can you come out for any of these? Uh, yeah. Our next song was written by Paul McCartney when he was just 16. It was a song the Beatles yeah, used to sing before they were famous and their sound equipment wasn't working at the time, but that didn't keep the audience from leaving. Awesome. Paul would never dream of writing a song. When Paul, never would dream of Paul would never dream of writing a song like that, but they ended up changing some of the words and putting it on the album Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Clipping. This song talks about growing old together. You may know it as when I'm 64.
camera girls. Our next song was written by Paul on his form in Scotland. It was inspired by Bob. Paul originally wrote this for an African woman rather than a bird. It was during the civil rights war, which Paul and the Beatles cared about very deeply. Thank you. 
All You Need Is Love was an inspired song. The Beatles really wanted to give a clear message saying that love is everything. This song was written and sung by John Lennon. Please listen to All You Need Is Love.
little girl.